author and educator, Christopher Phillips, to our school and he just spent the whole day working with students and teachers and running a community Socrates way. So Chris, I'd love for you to just tell a little bit about yourself and your background and what a Socrates Cafe is and when the viewers see mm -hmm. the film, what are they going to see? Well, a Socrates Cafe, most of all, isn't about a specific place, but it's any sort of space where people can gather and um, share and explore their philosophical perspectives in ways that make them feel like their horizons have been expanded and their uh, perspectives that are available to them have been also sort of deepened and broadened. Why is that important at a time when so many people sort of turned inward or when society's become so intolerant? Um, I think especially young people can show us the way and I think latch onto this method of inquiry and this ethos of empathic listening like nobody else. So this has been a beautiful day engaging on several occasions and locking hearts and minds with them. I think one of the reasons I still enjoy it after all these years is I learn so much from those who, engage, who take part in inquiry with me. Yeah, I, I understand that and as a teacher that's why I love my job because I learn every day from from the kids and just wanted to invite anyone who is watching um, you know, we do have these uh, Socrates cafes with some regularity, and, and it will be announced and in the media. But there's just something magical that happens. I guess I guess that would be my my most important question. What is the magic that is sparked or mm -hmm. appears at these gatherings? Yeah, I think there is magical intent to it. When people come, like one of the um, students who came up to me at the end, he said, "You know, I didn't quite know what to expect," and when we talked about this question, is, is our sense of morality innate or is it something that we learn over time? He said, you know, lots of possibilities expanded. Um, I, the answer is I have a more expanded answer than I did at the beginning. That in and of itself to me is transformative. And whenever we sort of um, have that opportunity to open up our intellectual and imaginative potential lenses, um, that can change. It doesn't mean that we're going to leave our job or start life anew someplace else, but it does mean maybe we just see our present circumstances far more differently and deeply and through a much more multicolored palette than we did before. And that in and of itself to me is quite magical. I, I know I go about my day differently yeah. just by having this blessed opportunity to engage with people. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming and spending the day with us. And there are great things going on at Harwood, so we hope that you'll join us for the next Socrates Cafe. Thank you so much, and I hope people will come to our uh, nonprofit website at democracy.org and check out all of our various initiatives. And uh, put that up on the Harwood website. Yes, thanks for everybody. Okay.